drive. Rough and Pratt unable to finish. And here comes Tarasi, the WNBA's all-time leading scorer who had an injury-riddled 2019. And Brady Here's Parker. Step back jumper is off. And the rebound into the lap of Griner. Phoenix 15 and 19 last year. Never really saw a healthy Tarasi as Griner. This year than in years past for uh, scouting when teams are scouting to pick up the other team's play calls since everybody can hear them when they're calling them out. Here's Gray. Nice find to Neko Gumake as she was pregnant, the birth of her first child. Gray comes up with a steal. Good touch pass underneath. Parker fits. Griner now with multiple fouls, so two early fouls on Griner. She is forced to check out as Parker able to flag down the dangerous pass. Parker fading away. This Kiavon now in as the center for the Phoenix Mercury, a strong defender, but for most of the first possessions, we saw Phoenix running their offense through BJ. Tarasi a wide into the game for the Sparks. The Minnesota Lynx legend playing her first game with a different team in her WNBA career. Parker looks off the pass, takes the drive, and scoops it up. The Liberty Storm game today, just how many games are going to be played with one day rest? Each team playing at least 15 of their 22 games with only one day rest. How does Candace Parker work her way through the stretch for the playoffs? An 11-8 Sparks lead midway through this opening quarter. The little bunny hop, and the jumper rolls in. Turner had a great year overseas in the offseason. Sandy Brondello says she is the best at playing with Brittany Griner just because she has the ex uh, experience of it from a year ago. That three drop. Brittany, awesome stuff, Holly. Because that three is off the mark. A 14-10. Sparks lead over the Mercury. Popping it off. We're talking to Coach Derek Fisher about Chelsea Gray. He said, I I'll just let you watch. I'll just let you see her. You know, really excited about what she is going to bring this year and how good she has been looking. That three is good. Taya Cooper in for L.A. Rhea Hartley in for Phoenix. That jumper is good. Hartley running the point, tried to dump it into traffic. On the break, what athleticism. In the They're playing music, but you can hear the sounds of the games from the squeak of the shoes to the conversations. I mean, you can hear everything every player on the court is saying right now, including what the players on the bench are yelling back to their teammates. So it really is the beauty. Mike Krzyzewski told me once, we're getting to hear that music in one of the most special ways right now during this unusual time. Sandy Brondello is hoping is going to bring shooting to the Mercury. Able to connect on that attempt. A two-point Sparks lead. Two-for-one opportunity here for Phoenix. Nice delivery. And on the roll. Her comments as well to Brianna Taylor. And in case you missed the beginning of the game, these teams held a 26-second moment of remembrance. Taylor Diggins-Smith says she hopes that Brianna Taylor's family is proud today. And I can tell you, I spoke with her mother earlier today. Tamika Palmer is watching the games today. She was so gracious with her time, and she is proud. She said, I felt so... ...way of action in their fight for social justice. I'm just kidding, graphics coordinators. Graphics always tell a story. You calm down, Ryan Mattingly. Phoenix still with time here. Six to shoot. Tarasi looking to set herself up. The runner is good. That's 
three is off the mark. Biggin Smith veering around traffic, setting up Griner, and Griner finishes. Really gonna be good at getting the ball to BJ. Two-point Phoenix lead. Here is Cooper. Her jumper is smooth. Her is smooth. Taya Cooper connecting. The rookie, 18th pick out of Baylor. Tarasi finishes it. Tarasi looking good in this first half. Eight points now for the WNBA's all-time leading scorer. Rendeka Kulbuke somehow now. Two of two from the line, eight points to lead all LA scores. Diggin Smith bolts to the bucket. WNBA score promo. Yeah, it's my favorite. That three's off the mark from Raquana Williams. And Phoenix controls a 34-33 lead for the Mercury. Season opener for both of these teams. One game in the books took place earlier today. The Storm beating the Liberty in Sabrina Ionescu's debut. Sue Bird and Brianna Stewart's return. Your point, Rebecca. Here is Gray. Her three. No. Parker fights for the rebound and keeps it alive for LA. Nice work inside from Neko. Gulbuke puts it in. Who has looked really good in this first half. Tarasi off on a three. Rebound. Ends up back with Phoenix. Diggin Smith will take. And hit from Neko. Guard that on ball screen. Brittany Griner and Skylar Diggins. He goes, you can't go behind because she'll do what she just did. Here is Parker straight on with a three of her own. Gray lost the handle. Right back to Phoenix. A four on three developing. Tarasi finds Griner underneath the layup. Go Exclusively in her room. At the hotel inside the bubble being tested every day. As Augustus hits the jump, four for Phoenix instead. Tarasi the no look, Griner the catch, but the denial underneath. We did. Brittany Sykes is 5'9. And she blocked BG. 5'9. Here is Sykes. Pull up three. Is smooth in that game and I talked with both Derek Fisher and Candace Parker Derek Fisher said we had to change our culture and build more trust with each other and they believe they've done that Candace said that she talked with her coach and what they've said is just between them but they're both moving forward communicating well and Nick Oguma and communication and how much better that is now with his group of women almost said because of the circumstance you're forced to develop relationships here's Oguma kick Gray weaving for to shoot. Parker reverses it. ABC, where we are right now. It's the Sky and the Aces at 3 Eastern, noon Pacific, from the IMG Bubble in Bradenton, Florida. Both games also streaming live on the ESPN app. Stewart, Skyler Diggins Smith, Diana Taurasi, Candace Parker, who dealt with injuries last year. They have exclusively looked fantastic. Yeah. And, it, and we understand there's been a lot of rest that's going to play into what's called the spryness. L.A. 13 of 15 from the line now as Tarasi has it stripped. Gray looking to go baseline around Diggins Smith. Up, under, and in. Move to 2021. Along with all of the new inductees that you will see in the year to come. And we also want to say congratulations when it comes to the bubble. And she's been making things for everybody. I think it's a real talent. And, you know, everybody wanted to know the one essential thing you bring into the bu bubble. I think it's great that hers was the bedazzler. So thank you, Rashonda Gray. I'm loving my mask. I feel like I brought up, well, you know, we can get packages inside the bubble. <laughs> so that's good. So one of the cool things that you guys will see here on the court that's new for the WNBA 
safe site is they did have some areas off to the side here where they were going to have coaches come and self-scout or scout for opponents. Well, the coaches found out that the people who'd come into the bubble to support their loved ones weren't going to be able to come to the games. And they said, listen, we'll give up that safe site there. Brody, that's Brittany Griner's wife. Um, to the side who's doing her online law school class. Would at least be able to get to the game. So thank you coaches for allowing that to happen. 14 point lead for LA. Here's Augustus's jumper. That's good. It has the shimmy and it's good to see some of that back. Simone Augustus. Here comes Simone. The pull up jumper. You bet. You know, I I'm not sure why you felt the need, but yeah. So, 1.55 to go in this third quarter, and the Sparks with a 71-53 lead over Phoenix. A straight-on three is good, and with under 40 seconds to go in this third quarter, L.A. controls. Eka Gubake's three is good. One. Simone Augustus, Neka Gumake, a combined 12 for 12. Augustus giving it up. Sykes three is good. Weiss's three off the mark. Rebound taken by Neka Gumake. Agumake in the corner. Cut X up. Looks like a completely different team here in the, in the second half than they did in the first. How much fatigue is playing into it? Even turnovers. It could be a fatigue turnover in the second half. Ten of them in the second half. 22 for the game. And L.A. has scored 32 points off of those 22 turnovers. 22 turnovers. They're a plus 23 in points off turnovers. Taya Cooper will take and hit from another contest on national TV on CBS Sports Network. The Fever and the Mystics. So much WNBA action coming your way over these next few weeks. Vintage Diana Taurasi that season. Last year just never quite got over the recovery from her back surgery as Taurasi scoops it in. If she can top that today, Simone Augustus also flirting with it. 6.05 to go in this fourth quarter. A 23-point L.A. lead as Nika banks it in. Well, now you just got to bring her to the bench and hold the record. Right. <laughs> Digging Smith three is good. Right spot for Phoenix in this game. 14.6 assists. Brittany Griner has been quiet for a while for the Mercury. She is off the floor right now. 22 turnovers from Phoenix. And make it 23. Here's Raquana Williams. Motoring to the free throw line. It has been a lot, but it is beautiful to see in her return to the court today. Not only is she perfect, her voice that has gotten us here to this point. How sharp the teams were and how well played this game was. Reiner's jumper is good. Efficiency. Her MVP season, what did she shoot, like 68% for yeah. the season? It's ridiculous. Six Phoenix turnovers. The Sparks a plus 21 in points off turnovers. And the 26 turnovers for Phoenix, their most in a game since 2016. Sophie Cunningham lays it. Actually no longer in doubt. The communication does not stop. No, it's the only way to be successful is to be constantly talking on the floor, in particular on the defensive end. <laughs> On the drive, Ruff and Pratt unable to finish. And here comes Tarasi, the WNBA's all-time leading scorer, who had an injury-riddled 2019 and pretty good.